Juzo is one of the mysterious characters on Tokyo Ghoul, since there are these weird stitches on his body. He has also many references on tarot cards, so here are the list. Number 1. Juzo is a special class ghoul investigator who also went by the name Rei. His first partner was Shinohara, who he looked up as father. Number 2. We see that he has stitches all over his body, below his right eye, neck, and several more around his arm. It was also seen that he is the one who stitches his own body. He see it as a body modification. Number 3. He was cold-blooded killer until he met Shinohara. According to Shinohara, he is a problematic child. Even with a twisted personality, he has good skill and he showed no hesitation to kill someone. Number 4. Because of Big Madam's treatment, he no longer felt fear nor pain. He will take any opponent head-on, no matter how dangerous they are. This was shown when he decided to take on the owl alone. Number 5. He has no emotions, doesn't even feel empathy. However, when he sees that his father figure, Shinohara, was beaten to death, he suddenly felt how important he is to him and he unleashed a cry of anguish. <laughs> Number 6. After Shinohara has been comatose, he expressed more dedication to his work. He even told Big Madam that he will kill her, personal grudge aside, but because it was his duty to exterminate ghouls. Number 7. Speaking of Big Madam, Big Madam was a powerful and influential ghoul who has connections on the black market. Big Madame raised Juzo as a human pet and was subjected to extensive abuse causing Juzo to develop a somewhat erratic personality. Juzo was trained to perform to circus but the audience was ghouls. Number 8. He became a scraper on a ghoul restaurant. Ghoul restaurant is a secret society of ghouls whose members are part of the higher class society. They lure unsuspecting human guests to the restaurant, where the human will be trapped in a human slave called Scraper. Juzo being a Scraper, he is forced to kill the humans. Number 9. Big Madame dressed him as a girl, fearing that his puberty would change him and that he would go ugly and not be pleasing to the show. Big Madame made a decision. She performed castration with Hummer, and he was forced to live as a girl. Number 10. When he was rescued, the investigators commended his agility, flexibility, and reflexes. However, due to his personality, they refused him to join the CCG, to which Shinohara disagreed, stating that Juzo was a victim and deserved a second chance. Number 11. The chairman of CCG appointed him to rank 3 investigator when he turned 19. He was also given the chance to choose his own name. He decided on Juzo Suzuya, his alias as a scraper. Number 12. During the assault of Ogiri hideout, he infiltrates the building. He was also the one who killed Yamamori. However, Yamamori is already severely injured by Ken Kaneki on their previous fight. Number 13. He was promoted as Associate Special Class and was given his own squad in the 13th Ward. Number 14. During the auction, he disguises as a girl so he can get inside Big Madame's location. When Uta announces the special item for sale, which is actually Juzo, he repeatedly stabbed Uta in the face. Number 15. 
He was the one who verified that Arima's leaping during a battle with a ghoul is true. This is during their whack-a-mole operation. Number 16. At the age of 22, he was promoted as a special class. He is the second person to achieve the class in that age. The first one was Arima. Number 17. According to his profile on DocuGhoul RE Volume 3, his current obsessions are serious hide and seek and throwing Hanbi. He is also on the top 6 most popular character in the anime. Number 18. The association of Zuya with the number 13 is a wordplay. It's possible to write the name Juzo with a kanji, translating to 13. Number 19. 13 is also the death arcana. The number can also be associated with his hair clip, his quinky, his association with Jason, and working in the 13th ward in Joker. It's also considered an unlucky number in many cultures and is associated with death, betrayal, and loss. Number 20. During Owl suppression operation, one of Suzuya's hair clips went missing, reducing his number down to 12, referencing the hangman or change, hinting that he would change in the upcoming series which we now see. Number 21. In Tokyo Go RE Chapter 32, while being promoted to special class, his hair clips are arranged into the Roman numeral 20. This is most likely referencing the Judgment card, which calls for a period of reflection and self-evaluation. Number 22. Since he was the second special class in his early 20s, in contrast to Arima being the Black Joker, his card on Tokyo Gold Trump is White Joker. Number 23. He got the honors such as Excellent Squad Award, Ryukichi Medal, Double White Wing Medal, and Golden Osmanthus Medal. White Wing Medal is achieved when the investigator defeats an SS rated ghoul, while the Osmanthus Medal is given to investigator who eliminates certain number of ghoul within the span of year. Golden is the highest of the class which means killing more than 100 goals a year. Peace out.